Laconic here. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my video. In today's video, I'm going to guide you through how you can use the Mr. Beast phone on your Final Cut Pro. So the first thing you want to do is you want to load up your browser. So I've done, I've, I already have Google Chrome. I'm going to go on Google. And the first thing is when I'm on Google is I'm going to search the font. Now the font is a very popular website for creating font, for downloading fonts. And it's the one I use mostly when I'm editing my videos. So the first thing you want to search is you want to search up, search up access. I can't, I don't quite remember the name of it. Yeah, it's just say Comica Access. Comica Access is a phone you want to download. So what you want to do is you want to click on download. It should take about two, three seconds. Double click it and it'll form some kind of folder right here. We can drag it to your desktop. And what you're going to do is afterwards, you're going to type out phone book. And as you type a phone book, you can have a lot of different fonts. So you want to double click on this folder. And now this is the most important document. You have to now paste this. So essentially from year to year. But since I've already done this, it should take a couple seconds. Um, it should look like something like this. And it says replace because I've already downloaded it. So yeah, I've already downloaded this. This is, this is a misspeaks font. So yeah, now we're going to load up the Final Cut Pro. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So if you already have the Final Cut booted up, I would say you quit it and then you re renew, then you reboot it, you, you reboot it, right? So I've already actually made a, a kind of like a custom kind of thing, um, and it's quite a nice video, actually. But I'm gonna show you guys what to do. So I'm I'm gonna take out all of these uh, text boxes, and then I'm gonna show you what to do. So for those of you who do regularly use Final Cut Pro, you have to go on your custom, go on your titles, and you'll paste this right here, right? And once you're done with this, you're gonna try and minimize it and this. And now you gotta play around with the text. This is the most important part. You can go on your font and you wanna search up uh, Kamika Axis. Now, Kamika Axis should be right down below here. It should be somewhere right over here. And there it is, Kamika Axis. And this is how it looks like. So, this is how it's gonna look like for you. It's gonna be completely white. And I've done some adjustments because I'm, already, I'm, I'm currently in the process of editing this video. So um, I'm going to go and transform and make this a little bit bigger. So you guys, it's visible for you guys to see. But the most important part, if you want to make it look like Mr. Beast's font, what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to play around with the with the, with the the outline right here to show. You're going to click on this and then you're going to put it to black. And I highly suggest that if you want a more Mr. Beast kind of font, uh, you're gonna you're gonna play the width and make it around seven to six to seven, seven to eight, whichever one you feel like suits it. So thank you so much for watching the video. I'm gonna give you guys a preview of how it's gonna look like as soon as I finish editing this small video. And yeah, see you guys in a bit. 